Dimensional Energy is a process technology company, and we make sustainable synthetic hydrocarbons as a replacement for oil. We're a carbon utilization company, and we're catalyzing the energy transition, quite literally. We've got two proprietary catalysts that we've developed, and we've wrapped them in an optimized engineering process that recycles carbon dioxide into a barrel of what's essentially new renewable oil. And it can be upgraded to make drop-in replacements for jet fuel and diesel in existing engines, but it can also be processed into ingredients for products that range from cosmetics to adhesives to food additives. Here's the product that we're making right now. This is paraffinic wax, no impurities, no odors, and we've had it upgraded to certified jet fuel and run it in a test flight with one of our airline partners, but we're also selling it today to companies in higher value end markets. Uh, we've got a technology demonstration center in Arizona that proved out our attractive cost and throughput, and we're just commissioning a 20x scale up at a cement plant in Vancouver, British Columbia, where we're taking the captured flue gas and running it through our technology um, using renewable electricity and making these end products. Um, and uh, we've got all that product sold and that plant we hope will retire all the technology risk associated with our process and allow us to get to commercial scale. Now, how are you different from others that are in this space? Our DNA is about being audacious, but being pragmatic. And, you know, if you look at aviation, that's a really hard to decarbonize sector. It's gonna take years and billions of dollars of infrastructure to get there. Um, our goal is to get there faster and cheaper by building smaller scale plants and then leveraging these higher value products because in the end, jet fuel is a commodity. Um, and from a, from a practical investment standpoint, if you create a black box that costs billions of dollars in order to prove out your technology, that takes a long time before it's financeable in traditional markets. And so we're using a nuts and bolts approach where we're leveraging some known processes, but adding proprietary technology on top of them so that we can bring them to market faster. We believe they're just as cost effective as some of the newer approaches that are out there, but a much shorter path to market. Um, I guess the other way that we feel that we're unique is that if you look at what we've done with a relatively small amount of capital, we've raised just over, just under $30 million ever to date. Uh, in private capital, and with that, we've deployed two field facilities end to end. So I would argue we're among the most capital efficient out there among our peers. Now, as you look to the next 12 months, what are you focused on? What are your priorities? First, tech maturity. Uh, next, expanding our customer base. And then third, proving out and underwriting these targeted use cases so we can rinse and repeat uh, with different customers. So um, on the tech side, we're entering a performance measurement period at that plant in Canada, where we will collect all the data from all the processes, record every step of the process, and then have it reviewed by third-party consulting engineers. And this will set the stage that, uh, for us to be able to uh, attract engineering and construction companies who will provide a guarantee of a project or insurers who will do that. So that's necessary to get market rate financing. Um, we're also maturing our IP portfolio. We've got 18 patents at various uh, stages from application to provisional to um, issued patents. And then on the product side, we're engaging with a broad range of customers. We have letters of intent with folks in the cosmetics business and the food additives business. We're looking for customers who use wax in their product, which is a broad range of customers. $10 billion of wax is sold today. It's dominated by fossil-based wax and we're looking for folks who want a pure, a sustainable alternative, and you know, one where uh, the supply chain is, is uh, less challenging. Uh, doing domestic plants will, will help solve that problem. And then finally, on the project side, we are, um, we've got a large contract to underwrite a scale up of that cement plant that I just mentioned. And that will allow us to perfect that use case where we're taking emissions from an industrial emitter and turning them into usable and valuable end products. So that's gonna consume most of our engineering time over the next 12 months. And I, uh, of course, I need to mention that we're out raising funds today, talking to investors right now about a Series B financing to provide the funds to um, complete all of those milestones.
Well, John, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thanks so much for having us.